All right, so we're gonna do some multi-digit addition here, and we are doing first the partial sums method, which is a method I really like. Um, some people complain because they think it takes long at first, but it's actually, you can do it quickly and it shows your understanding a little bit better. So let me show you the partial sums method if you forget or have never learned it. First things first, we'll do an estimate. So 67 is pretty close to 70. If you round it up, and if you round 85, that would be close to 90. So the estimate is going to be 160. And when we're finished, we need to make sure that our answer is close to this. Now, I'll show you a slow way of partial sums, and then I'll show you a fast way of partial sums. So this is the slow way. I'm going to start with the tens, and I have 60 plus 80. So I will write that whole thing out. 60 plus 80 and hopefully you know how much that is and make your columns nice and neat by place value hundreds tens ones and then we can do the ones place seven plus five and that's going to be think about it for a moment 12 but I want to make sure I get my columns correct and now I can add those together and I have 152 and that is pretty close to my estimate, so I'm good to go there. And I'm going to keep estimating by tens. So 439, I'll call that 440. And 71, I will round to 70. And my answer should be somewhere near 510. So now I'll go a little bit faster. There's only 400. No other hundred, so I keep that. Then I have, uh, looks like 30 plus 70, which will give me 100. Then I have nine plus one, that's gonna give me 10. And now I can add these up, and I am matching my estimate exactly, so I'm good to go there. All right, I am gonna do my estimate here, and now I can do partial sums. Let me show you though, the order that you go doesn't matter at all. I can do the ones place first if I want to. So let me do that. So seven plus six, think about it, and it is 13. I'm gonna make it nice and spaced out. 20 plus 80 gives me 100. And 200 plus 300 gives me 500. And now, Again, I am pretty close to my estimate, so I'm good to go. So again, partial sums really shows your understanding of place value, which is why it's a good method. Um, it takes a little bit more space than the normal method most people use, but uh, it really shows you understand, and you can do it pretty quickly. It shouldn't take long once you get used to it. Okay, so up next, we're gonna do a different method on the back here, which is column addition method. So let's go through this. We need um, to make columns for ones, tens, and hundreds, or even thousands if we have them. So for my first one here, I've got ones and tens. And let's see, my estimate, um, 89 is rounds to 90, and 47 rounds. So my ballpark estimate is going to be right around 140. Okay, so now I do um, my addition by columns, hence the name column addition. So 9 plus 7, you should know, is 16. And 8 plus 4 is going to be 12. And now I'm going to rotate things over. So if, if I have um, 16, basically I have 6 ones. And then this is a 10, so it moves over to the tens place. And now... I basically have my answer. Um, 13 tens, 6 ones. The answer is 136, and you can see that we are close to our estimate. Okay, next over for my estimate, um, I've got 630 plus 90, and I'm thinking that's going to be 720, yeah? So my answer should be close to there. And now I've got my columns, three columns ready to go. So four plus six gives me 10 ones. And eight plus three would give me 11 
tens, and then we only have six hundreds, so there's nothing else to add there. So now we move things over. So if I have ten ones, I have zero ones and one ten, so that moves over, and this becomes twelve. Six remains for a bit. We're going to go down a little bit more. So now uh, zero is going to stay. Twelve tens, so that's really two tens, and then ten tens is another hundred, so that goes there. And our answer is 720, which is exactly the same as our estimate. All right, one more quickly. Um, 148 rounds to 150. 77 is closest to 80. So the estimate will be 230. And now make your columns. And now just go through your addition. 8 plus 7 in the ones place gives me... 15 ones, 4 plus 7 in the tens place gives me 11 tens, the 100 stays, and then we just rotate over. So 15, the 5 stays in the ones place, this 10 comes over, now I've got 12 tens, and let's do it one more time. The 5 stays, <coughs> 12 tens, so 2 tens, and then 10 tens is 100, so that comes over, and my answer is 225, which is close to my estimate. So there you go. And just one more thing for this homework here. You're just looking to see what the pattern is. So here to go to from 16 to 21, um, probably adding 5, right? Does that work for the next one? 21 plus 5 is 26. Yes. So your rule is going to be plus 5, and then you just follow the pattern to fill out the rest. Uh, this one's a little bit trickier. You've got to go from 104 to 130. So figure that one out. Probably that's going to be plus 26. And now you can go forward easy, but to go backwards, you have to do um, subtraction. So 52 minus 26 would give you this one here. And then this one will be plus 26 going this way or minus 26 going that way. So just look at the pattern with the rules that you figured out. And that was a bit of a long one, but that's um, study link 2.7 for everyday math fourth grade. Thank you.